Hello everyone, this is Enix back with Final Fantasy XIV. Now, I'm playing on my brand spanking new fancy schmancy PC that I can play everything on maximum high settings when still having, like, all the frames per second. It's good. It's good stuff. Okay. And I redid my character a little bit. I actually took the time and played around with the character creator to make it just right. I changed a couple things and... Ah, nice things. And I finally am not bu <laughs> Bumble Butt Butters anymore. I actually used the naming convention for the Mikote, which is uh, for the Moonkeepers. Uh, it would essentially be the same name as their moms, and for the males, they would do like the first child, the second child, the third child. So I am, uh, and they act, and they throw in silent H's in there as well. So I am Enix uh, Fo, because I am firstborn. So we're gonna go. I'm just for uh, qu uh, quality sake. I'm gonna go ahead and go through the entire intro again. In a HD! Oh, it's gonna be nice. Let me just double check everything. Everything's going good, right? Yep, I'm recording. Uh, everything is 1080p. Alright. And away we go. After this queue. So I chose to make a character on Leviathan, which is, I believe, the third most populated server. Cause, why not our world just be filled with people, am I right? Oh, it's gonna be bad once, uh, like, what is it, June 20th or 22nd? I'm not sure, once Stormblood hits, this is gonna be bad. This queue of five is gonna be a 500 or something like that. Oof, it's gonna be good stuff. Oi, y'all right, lad. You are moaning in your sleep and sweating buckets besides. Rolling up the ship got your stomach churning, has it? Hmm. <laughs> Don't seem like seasickness now that I look at you. It'll be the ether then, I reckon. Some are more sensitive to the stuff than others, you see. 
We ain't too far from the uh, vile barn now, which is chock full of etherites. No need to fret, though. You'll soon get used to it. Ugh, might as well be blooming seasickness. Sheep slip, uh, ships leaping around like a uh, demented chocobo today. I reckon I might head out on deck, get myself a breath of fresh air. Limps laments is still a fair ways off, in case you were wondering. Seeing as you're awake and all, how about you keep me company until we get there? Them youngins don't much care for conversation, see? Any roads. Burnan's the name, and Pendlin's me trade. Smell that salty sea breeze. Now then, lad, judging by your unusual garments, I'd say you are one of those new adventurers, am I warm? I knew it. Going wherever the wind blows, seeking fortune and glory, now that's what I call living. So long as you avoid dying, I mean. Ain't no secret that adventure is a risky business these days especially. What was it that first attracted you to it? What did I say last time? I don't quite remember. I'm just gonna say to win glory, though. Glory, eh? Well, if you're willing to take on them tasks that other folk folks ain't, an adventurer such as yourself can win fame what coin can't buy. When you arrive in town, you'll want to report to the Adventurer's Guild. You can find out everything you need to know about venturing business in there. Just remember though, there are more important things than fortune and glory, such as breathing. Ain't no point in- ain't no profit in being dead as that's a fact. Gah. Ships off the soured bar. Pirate colors. Pirates. Bloody hells. Uh, have you no sense? Get below. What is the world coming to? Pirates fly firing on a ship flying laments in colors? Bastards either have a boatload of balls or bugger all for brains. You can rest easy, friends. We've made it out of the cannon's range. And no buccaneer's bark will catch this uh, flighty temptress once the wind wind's in her sails. That was too bleeding close. Glad one of us kept his head on his shoulders. I reckon I'd l I'd have lost mine otherwise. If them pirates gave up the chase, we must be close to port. Let's head up on the deck and have a look, shall we? By the by, is this your first trip to Limsa Lominsa? Uh, yes. Is it? Well then, let this journeyed, uh, literant tell you the ins and outs of your destination. Ahem. 
Limsa Limsa prides itself in being Eorzea's foremost naval power. Weren't too long ago that this place was ruled by pirates, but thanks to the current Admiral's civilized influence, the city-states could almost pass for a respectable nation. You'd never guess that she was once a rum-swiggling buccaneer herself. Of <laughs> course, most folks ain't too, so quick to change, and with a town full of liberal-loving ruffians, you can imagine how many naysayers and troublemakers she got to deal with. Like them pirates who took a fancy to us just now. And if that weren't bad enough, I've heard the Sahagin are raiding the coast just as bold as you please. Them are uh, sea dwelling beastmen the locals call fishbacks, case you didn't know. Ah, at long last, land ho! Behold, Limsa Laminsa, a nation blessed by the ocean's bounty and beloved of the beloved of uh Limila, goddess of navigation. On a windswept isle in the southwestern corner of the realm. Amidst the roiling waves of the Lotano Sea lies the maritime city-state of Limsa Lominsa. To this haven for bandits and brigands, cutthroats and curs, seekers of both freedom and fortune, comes a lone adventurer. Alone yet not alone, for the hero's arrival has drawn the gaze of the nation's patron deity, Lim Lane. What realm-shaking fate has she descried in the churning waters of this mortal's future? part ways, son. I'm off to the markets to deliver me wares, and then it's on to the high road for me. Here, I want you to have this, by ways of thanks for saving me, I, uh, me arse earlier. Hey, you never did tell me your name, did you? Well, here's an idea. Become the sort of... Uh, Become the sort of storied personage I can brag about having met, and I'll consider a square. Through peril and hardship, discovery and triumph, may the navigator guide this brave soul on his life's voyage. Till sea swallows all. I wonder if y'all heard that little, like, screenshot noise just now. Whew. Oh man, this game looks so gorgeous now! Oh, this is wonderful. I'm gonna leave, go ahead and leave in those videos of that god-awful 14 frames per second. Just cause it's... the change is 
phenomenal. Hey, you there. I, I mean you. This is my district, and I mean to make it my business to know all the scum that washes up on it. Ah, an adventure fresh off the boat, is it? Well then. Allow one of the Limsa finest to set you on the right path. Hop to it, lad. I haven't got all day. Oh boy. Welcome to Limsa Liminsa, a bustling city-state filled with scoundrels and brigands. The rough-cut diamond of the Rotano Sea. Please select your control scheme. I'm gonna be using gamepad. Yes, thank you, thank you. Uh, no thank you. And there we go. Oh, look at this. Oh, I have NPCs loaded up. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Oh, this is wonderful. All right. And now that I'm sure you're itching to... Now then, I'm sure you're itching to explore, but adventurers are required to register their presence in the city. And without a bit of uh, local knowledge, you're like to get your throat slit in some piss stinking alley. So before you do anything else, get yourself over to the Drowning Wench and enroll with the Adventurers Guild. It's not far. Just head straight down this street and speak with, uh, Gerfriend. He'll show you how to work that big moving platform we call the Crow's Lift, and that'll take you up to the t pub. Once you're there, look for a fellow named Burdenend. He's the proprietor of the wench. He might curse like an ale-sodden sailor, but the man's got a soft spite for wide-eyed newcomers like yourself. He'll set you straight. You got all that? Good. Now run along and may the navigator guide you on your journey. Thank you, thank you. Got it. Oh, this is wonderful. Oh, this is so wonderful. Oh, everyone's got shadows and everyone's loaded. I don't have to worry about people like not showing up when I need them to. Take me home. Welcome to Limsla Minsa. If you have mind to visit the Drowning Wench, the Crow's Lift will take you there. Oh, Where's Beard Mom? Beard Mom. Beard Mom. Oh my god, look at that reflective floor! Mmm! Greetings to you, lad. What'll it be? Ah, uh, but you ain't uh, for uh, the drink, are you? You've come with a mind of trying your uh, end at adventure, I reckon. Well, you have found no shortage of work around in Laminsa. The name's Burnon, and this is the most hospitable of hospiteries, is the Drowning Wench. Tis also the home of Adventures Guild here in Laminsa. That's why we've got a desk specially for handling guild business. And that's why I seem to spend more time serving the necks of whelps like yourself than watering the throats of me regulars. Ventures I have a knack for finding trouble, see? Not that they need it in these parts, on account of there being trouble wherever you look. If you manage to steer clear of the fishbacks and the kobolds outside the city, the pirates on the inside will get you instead. And if that if they don't manage, there's always the Garlean Empire to finish the job. Oh, no one knows what they're planning, of course, but they are planning anything. But if they're planning anything, you can be sure it'll kill a lot of us. Aye, this town seems peaceful at a glance, but look again and you'll see uh, people living up fear of what tomorrow might bring. 
And who can blame him with after everything that's happened? Eorzea took uh, one uh, mighty bl blow uh, during the calamity, but our ohms weren't the only things that got wiped off the face of existence by that trice damned bastard of a dragon. It took our bleeding memories, too. And no one seems to be able to explain it in a way that makes announced sense. None of the folks who saw it and lived to tell the tale seem to agree on how the tale actually goes. It's just all foggy, like recollections from a uh, yard night on the ale. You can imagine why people might fear or for the future if they can't rightly remember, recall the past. But there is, is one thing that we all remember, and that's a group of adventurers what laid down their lives to drag Yorzia back from the brink when she was bound for the abyss. Well, I say we remember. Truth is, though, we ain't, uh, ain't forgotten what they did for us. This goddamn calamity spawned memory loss robbed us of their names. You won't even let us uh, picture their damn faces. It is like staring at the gull flying in the front of the sun. All we see in our mind's eyes is a shadow against the sun, against a blinding glare. And that is how every bugger describes it. By the way, give or take a odd gull. And this is what got people calling these heroes the Warriors of Light. If Limsa is ever going to put this time of darkness behind it, it's going to need adventures to help banish the fear. It's going to need new heroes like the ones we lost. Maybe one day you'll be one of them. And that's why any aid we can give to adventures is an effort well spent. What do you say, lad? You willing to lend this your strength? Yeah. Me thinks ye and navigator and all. Me thanks to ye and the and, me, me thanks to ye and to the navigator and all. I knew she'd steer ye my way for a reason. Ah, but listen to me, uh, Yantlin on like the sun's touched fishwife. Tis I time we got ye your marked on me book. Put your scrawl right there. It's a foe, is it? A fine name it is. Congratulations. You're now an upstanding member of the Adventurers Guild. You there, adventurer. You sailed in on that last ferry, did you not? The captain reported it being attacked by a pirate vessel, and uh, several witnesses have testified independently that a passer by matching your description went out on deck mere moments before the incident took place. Sending your friend signals, were you? Now hold on just a moment there, officer. You got the wrong bloke. This fine upstanding young gent is my dear departed grandmother, sister's niece's cousin's closest companion. The lad wouldn't be caught dead of fraternizing with such unsavory elements. Is that right? Ahem. You surely are aware of the recent kidnappings. Respectfully, then, we cannot be too trusting of outsiders at a time when the loyalty of even our closest friends is in doubt. Aye, aye. Make a good point there, officer. A very good point. Very wise. You needn't worry, though. I'll keep one eye open at all times, me and two more other often uh, than not. Now, sir, what do you say to a tankard of me finest ale? Before ye return to your duties, eh? Not a watered-down cup of piss like last time, I should hope. I, I, I ain't got the faintest idea of what you're talking about, officer. The winch might offer some of the cheapest grog this side of the straight so merith, but that don't mean it won't get ye good and pickled. And look at there, as a chair over there just crying out to be sat on. So kick off them uh, say heavy boots, eh? You'll have to excuse these eager, bloody yellow jackets. There's been a spate of kidnapping, see? And they got... They ain't got no... Uh, uh, they ain't got a clue who's behind them. Naturally, they've been taken, uh, taken to clapping irons on anyone who looks vaguely suspicious. Which means ventures, visitors, and pretty much every bugger else in this town. 
Don't take it personal, though. Us Lamentians can be of a heart, be a head, be a headstarted bunch of bastards. Tis true, but given in time, we'll grow on you. Now, where was I? Ah, welcome to Limsalamensa, where the sea is as green as the faces of me patrons after a few too many uh, black belly whiskies. Now, take a moment to gather ye wits, and we'll get started uh, with learning ye the ways of the city. Oh goodness, this, oh the speech of the Lamentians, I love it but I hate it, it is the worst, and also si simultaneously, the, simultaneously the best. This concludes the introductory game tutorial. You have taken your first steps as an adventure in the city of Limsa Lamensa. Listen well to the wisdom of Baranon Ten Fingers, then go forth and discover the incredible adventure that awaits you. Ah, oh, the main scenario quests. Oh, gimme, 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 gimme. Right then, let's start you off nice and easy with three texts that'll help you get your used to the life here in Lamensa. Firstly, if you head down to the floor, then point your nose to the west, you'll get an eyeful of the great glowing crystal in the middle of the courtyard. That's an etherite, a device that can move ye from one place to another in the blink of an eye. Ain't no swifter way of travel, proven uh, there's a etherite where you want to go, of course. Have a chat with the yellow jacket on guard down there, and you'll tr be treated to a lecture on the working of the device. Before you do that, though, remember to touch the thing. Strange as it sounds, it won't work till you have. Second on the list is the marketplace. You'll find weapons and armor and all your venture and bits and pieces for sale in the district where it lies beyond the etherite. Don't go throwing all your gill around just yet, though, or you get fleeced quicker and you can say, Where is, Why is me cold point press so light? Have a word with so who's about instead he's a uh, head of the merchants league by the way give him uh, the old give him this old octant and he'll treat you well and for your last of me helpful hints i suggest you meet some fellow axe wielders at the marauders guild i guarantee you'll learn a few new tricks for swinging that ed splin of splitter of yours if you join their crew Blothia, Blothia, Blothia at the front desk is one of who to get you started. You got all that, lad? Seeing to them three tasks will take you on a little jaunt around the city and help you work on where's or where everything is. Now I've best be getting on. Run along, eh? But great, there I go sending you off without telling you some are crucial. That bloody calamity has made a right old mess of my me memory, I swear. Well, that or the ale. Any road, while you're out, if you happen to be past uh, any poor saws what look like they might need your help, consider giving their tale a, 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 a listen, eh? Sounds like a chore, I admit. But you never know what interesting opportunities could be lurking out there, just waiting for you to stumble in on them. For example, Ninio over there, or over yonder's been uh, casting glances at you since you waltzed in. Why not lend an ear and see what she's uh, has to say? Aye, you're like to find yourself running odd errands in the beginning, but once you build a reputation as a man's folk, as a man folks can trust, the jobs will get harder and the rewards will more generous. If ever it's time, I'd also seek the advice of the smiths ever in the winch. The lads has as a bear that titles the lads as bear the titles title of some fine advice for them what are just starting out in the profession and that me lad is how ye go from becoming a legend among adventures do you have any idea what he said nope oh god that writing Oof. Add as many as apostrophes as possible, it seems. Oh boy. Right. Okay. Thank you, thank you. I Limps Lamensa is my second home. I know exactly what to do around here. Nina. Ninina. 
Ninia, that's how you say it. What do you have to say for me? Well, would you look at this, a shiny new adventure. Listen close, lad. I have some information that might just help you on the map here in Lamintha. I was just passing through the Bulkwork Hall beyond not long ago, and saw a bunch of herbs scattered about the ground. Now, I'm not entirely certain, but I think they might have been a black market ware known as Dream Flowers. Limps Laminsa is a busy port, and not all the merchants that blow in across the strait are above board, if you know what I mean. How'd the plants end up in the mesomast? Who knows? Might have been a, de a deal gone bad. The important thing is you might make yourself a make a name of yourself for by handing them in. Speak to Skinriel, and she'll get you down on the first floor. And then you have to do is pick up the herbs and take them to out at the octant. Being the worldly captain, he knows a thing or two about such shady goods. And we got our first side quest. Oh, this place looks so gorgeous. Hey, take me down. Yep. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Oh, gosh. Just adjusting my headset a little. And there are the particular herbs she just mentioned. Alright, thank you. Uh, thank you. I know how to interact. Uh, pick up everything. And I'm just gonna take a second to double check my recording. Uh, how much has it been? It has been... Stop recording. It has not been three hours. I don't know what this thing is talking about. Alright. Let's see. Wait, I am missing one, aren't I? Yes, I ran completely past it. There we go. You there. Alright. I, as I suspected, these are the highly illegal blooms known as dream flowers. They are a prime ingredient in the creation of somas, a substance whose fragrance is said to lull the sniffer mind into a sleep of death. Ah, forgive me, I could not resist the jest. The herbs are nothing more than Alketh Lavender, a common enough export from Limps Laminsa. In fact, these probably spilled from a crate that got that were loaded onto our very own ship. Think someone's been having a bit of fun with you, son, but would not worry. You've learned a few things, and you've made a new acquaintance. Well met. Thank you. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Oh, oh look at this crowd. There's so many people here. Alright, in that case, let us do a little bit of changing. We are gonna go into others... Other player characters. Let us hide their titles. Let us... Let's see, display settings. Uh, full name... Uh, surname abbreviated, and uh, let's see, HP when targeted, that looks a little better. Or maybe I should do, hmm. Okay, thank you for... for being excessive. I think that's good. Alright then. Oh, there are so many blokes. Oh, this is wonderful. Alright then, uh, where is our... Oh, yes, we have to touch the crystal. Ah, another novice adventure. Hey, 
Ibern has sent more than a few of your kind this way of late. I am Sundilem, one of the Yellow Jaskets tasked with keeping the peace in the city. It is also me charged to provide guidance in the use of this device. Fear not, I shall be brief. Etherites are crystalline structures that tap into ethereal energies. They are primarily used as a means of travel swiftly from one place to another. Return and teleport, the most common of transportation spells, make direct use of the etherites and their connection to the flow of ether. And these devices are found in almost every corner of Eorzea. Any adventure worth of uh, worthy of a name wish, uh, will wish to seek out and attune himself to each one. Once you have expanded your horizons beyond the walls of the city, you will soon find yourself performing the act of attunement as a matter of course. There is, however, no need to for unseemly haste. The etherites found in around the city will be sufficient for the present, I assure you. Should you wish to learn more about the etherites or the transportational magic, I will be here to answer your questions. Thank you. I've learned return. Oh, thank you. I have learned return. Why? The game is so pretty. Oh, the game is so pretty. Oh, look at these nerds. I am one of these nerds. Oh, this is fantastic. Now, now my recording software did say I went it was over about three hours, so I'm just gonna go ahead and like double check to make sure that it didn't accidentally leave it to record and stuff. So one moment. <laughs> 